Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. I am JB, and of course with me is my partner in crime, Mark Marsh. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> so we're kind of doing a bit of a different thing today. Like we're kind of discussing a trending topic for the first time because I mean we're recording more or less after news has broken and stuff, and it's the first time we're really hopping on that topic, and so this is all about Scooby-Doo and Crypto 2. I mean, we've already done an episode about this, but that was back when I was discussing some other controversies and discussions that we'd gotten ourselves into, and we were speculating on if we thought that the movie was cancelled or not. But in the last week or so, it's been revealed that the movie was never cancelled and it was just taking a long time to get out. And so... Now that the dust has settled on that a little bit, because you know, I've explained on the channel, we were away over the weekend, so we couldn't jump on this topic immediately. Mark, what's your kind of thoughts about the fact that the movie was never cancelled on that? We are potentially getting it in September. I mean, we definitely are. No, so we definitely are getting September now. September 26th, that's mm. precise, because it's available for pre-order on Amazon Prime, so you can get it for $9.99. I'm actually glad it's finally coming out and it wasn't actually cancelled that the rumour was going around because this movie is amazing. It, it, I, I talked about it a few years back when it was just, you know, rumoured online and I saw the name, I'm thinking that could be a possibility. I didn't realise now it was an actual thing where it's actually leading to everyone being excited for it before it's even come out because it got leaked, it didn't got cancelled, rumour cancelled, now it's actually coming out. Um, now it's on digital pre-order. The The only concern that I want is are they actually going to do um, a physical release for it? Because at the moment, there's no physical release online. I even looked on, on eBay because normally there would be the American ones getting it. Mostly their, their pre-orders work faster than ours, so if it's not showing up on eBay in the US on a pre-order on eBay, yeah. then chances are it's not been announced publicly yet. So hopefully during this month or next month, because what was it? we've got one month away almost, they for a time they have to release or release some sort of physical um, release for it. So I really hope it happens sometime later this month. If it doesn't, then... I have this weird feeling in my gut that it might just be digital only for a while, yeah. and then they might release it physical down, down the line, I mean, which I, I don't want. I do want to add a little bit to that. I think there has been confirmed physical releases in the US because they're doing a bit of a different thing this time, where it's not just going to be at your targets, your Walmart, your... I don't know. You forbidden. I don't know what. I don't know what shops they have in America. Stuff like that. But it's a Walmart exclusive DVD. So it's oh. a bit like us having a DVD <laughs> release here, and it says you can only get it at ASDA, which is perfectly fine. I'm sure there's yeah. as many WalMarts in the US as there are ASDAs here, which for people watching is quite frequently. I'm sure every half you know size town in the uk has an asda just like every single half size town in the us probably has a walmart i'm guessing that's kind of how it works but the thing is is that judging by what i've seen on the internet you know we've had recent news that disney have stopped making dvds for australia I'm wondering if Warner Brothers are slowly going to think to do the same here, because if they're going to do it in Australia, eventually it's going to be us, and See, then eventually oh. it's going to be somewhere else, and then who knows, it could but be they, America as well. Yeah, they, they can't do because we said, if, if they do do it as a Walmart exclusive, that means us as the collectors, we're screwed, because the, yeah. there's only two options for us. We have to the first one is probably the cheapest, fly over, pick it up yourself, get a holiday out of it, then come back with it. Or well, second, if you don't have time to go on holiday there, you gotta go through eBay, then you gotta pay the upcharges, the import fees. You're spending like 40 quid just on one DVD, which I will do that just to own it, but no my luck, I buy it a year later. There you go, UK release. Because what they've done now is before our releases of the movies never used to come with slip covers, and the US ones did, but now they've done it where they all have slip covers. Because I used to always have to buy the UK one and the US one just so I have a slip cover for the set. Now I don't have to do that, so I'm saving more money. But I feel like they're doing it, they're releasing it, but making it more harder for outside collectors. 
which is the most annoying thing. Okay, yeah, we've got digital, but I don't like relying on just digital because, okay, then, scenario, my internet's down. They're doing work and it's that down for the next few days. I've got no physical media, just got my digital. Oh, can't access it. I mean, I'm wondering <laughs> if Warner Brothers in the back of their mind are thinking, you know, obviously for movies that come out on, you know, in the theatres and the cinemas that gets a cinematic release, they can probably bank on it being successful enough to give us that DVD. I'm almost wondering if they're going to start to think they've spent a lot less money on something like a director streaming, director video, you know, stuff like that made for television movie they could get away with just doing digital versions of that because Warner Brothers fraud, there's like a, it's a billion dollar company. The CEO gets paid a zillion times more than he probably should do. But at the end of the day, Warner Brothers, I kind of not sympathize with them, but I do feel for them in that they've lost so much money on stuff like The Flash. I'm sure Blue Beetle is currently losing yeah. money right now. I mean, Barbie has made... Uh, all right. Bar- Bar- made Barbie's stuff. made. I checked yesterday. They made seven hundred and seven uh, seven hundred and seventy five million globally, and they only had a budget of one hundred and twenty four million. Like Barbie's gonna so, make so a billion. Barbie's gonna make a billion. It's because it's still popular in cinemas now. Because where I work in retail, we are literally the cinemas just across the road, and we have loads of people buying all the snacks from us now, and they're all wearing pink. So we know they're selling Barbie. Literally every single week, it's been busy. So. Barbie is going to be a billion soon. I reckon by yeah. next week or the week so after. Warner be a Brothers billion. have got a bit of a win, not the one they expected. Yeah, I saw the Flash. It, it was as terrible as people said because of really? the CGI. I know it's saw, the yeah. CGI that's very discomforting. The only bit I like is my Michael Keaton's um, Batman. Is probably what saved it. It, it pretty much the, it was the duct tape that kept it together because if he wasn't in there I would have just lost interest in the film that was the only reason why I watched it was to see him in the OG bat suit and I thought it's worth it just to see him I mean I had nothing against the Flash I just kind of thought <laughs> that I enjoyed the the Grant Gustin series back when I watched it yeah. I don't really have the need to revisit any other versions. If you watch the Grant Gustin's Flash series, the CGI in that is way better than the CGI in the Flash movie. Nice. They would have better off just taking Grant Gustin's Flash and his cast and doing the movie themselves, and people would have loved it even more. Because I just feel like they when they try to focus just on the Flash in the movie. Everyone lost interest. Mm. But as soon as you bring in Batman, yes, love it. Perfect. Muggle that's Keaton. kind of my mentality. I am sure <laughs> that Warner Brothers thought possibly yeah. the reverse. They thought that Flash was going to make a billion and maybe Barbie would be stuck around the 300k, 400k domestic mark. And so when I think about everything in that perspective... I don't think Warner Brothers have really looked at their roster and gone, this is a guaranteed moneymaker, because they can't at the moment, because every time they've predicted it, they've been wrong. So I am wondering if the UK, Australia, places like that, isn't going to get a physical of crypto, because let's face it, if you're a company that has spent more money than God getting Ezra Miller on the Flash movie, like... You're going to cut corners in your mind to just do digital releases of the poster. Let's print the labels. Let's yeah. get the plastic covers for all the DVDs. Let's ship it to Morrison's HMV. And I don't agree with that. But if that is the direction Warner Brothers is taking, I couldn't 100% blame them. Although, again, I just think that they underestimate so much the market that collectors actually hold. And I think there is a bit of glimmer of hope because I think that they've confirmed that they're going to be releasing it physically in Canada, but like a month later, and there's no restrictions on shops. So I can see them doing that here. But last time I predicted that, it was Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, where America got it in, say, August, Canada got it in December, and we were literally waiting until the next August. So We had to wait a year yeah. for that. I don't uh, know if that's going to be the case. In my mind, I was like, do I buy the US one? No, I'll wait. I'll wait. And I was like, a year later, I was thinking, 
I don't think it's happened. I may have to buy it. And then eventually it happened. I'm thinking, thank God I saved a fortune. <laughs> I want to buy it just, on, just for no other reason, really. Because I saw the movie. I enjoyed it a bit. You know, I thought it was fine. You know, the DC superheroes aren't really my thing, but I enjoyed it for what it was. But more than anything, I kind of feel like if I don't support this as much as I can, if I don't get a DVD and a digital, spend as much money as as I can on this, then it could ultimately mean that it's the last Scooby-Doo movie that they produce. Because it's kind of yeah. our last chance to show the higher-ups at Warner Brothers that Scooby can still make money. Because if this flops, I doubt they make much more. Yeah, because it's been like a weird decline in Scooby-Doo lately. I think I think they need to release this, considering how bad their reputation is at the moment with Velma. Because let's face it, if this movie went out, that's all we had this year. That that is like the worst way to celebrate twenty twenty three with Scooby Doo is knowing that Velma was the spotlight. I feel like Crypto Two will probably be the people what people will talk about this year the most. But at the same time. Why release it later when it's already been leaked yeah. online? Why not just release it now? <laughs> I think, and I've said this on Twitter. <laughs> What's the suspense? Warner Brothers have handled this with all the grace and finesse of a just stop oil protest in the middle of a motorway. Like they've absolutely, <laughs> they've messed up on the marketing, like everything about the build up of the movie, except for the movie itself. Everything that they could have done wrong, they did wrong. And like, that's my issue. I think if they were smart, it would be almost a 24-hour turnaround, at least digitally, right? It should like, be, yeah. Like, you know, this wasn't meant to happen. This is coming out. Let's have the digital now. Because then that's making people go, I can try and find a leak now in bad quality, or I can spend £9 and watch it in HD, yeah, all official. Like, they got you know. the HD one. For nine ninety nine on Amazon, then they got the standard quality one for nine ninety nine. You buy the HD one because it's the same price. Normally, the standard one will probably be a bit less, like seven ninety nine, and you might do the HD one as twelve ninety nine or something like that. So you get better quality out of it. But then you know, I always buy the standard one because I don't really see that much difference in animation when it goes from standard to HD. I mean. I think it's just Me I think it's just my but... eyesight because I buy the standard one because I'm going to get the DVD anyway, so the DVD one's going to be um, high quality. Oh, I just um, searched on eBay just this moment: Scooby and Crypto Two DVD pre-sale. Hmm. Um, yeah, you can That's actually America. no UK from Rayware's um, outlets. Rayware's, oh, I guess shout out Rayware's outlets. I guess a little. <laughs> free promo but we are going to keep an eye on the situation this is going to be a shorter topic i don't think there's much else we can discuss except i i kind of just wanted to dispel some type of rumor because i think i've seen a lot that there is a misconception that scooby fans right now are anti warner brothers and i think obviously there's stuff going on with like the striking and everything that there is a lot of reasons to be anti warner brothers but like at no point would I condone anyone watching this to try and boycott the Crypto 2 movie just because it is literally the last way of telling people that Scooby-Doo matters. Because, you know, David Saslav, he's, for all we can tweet out about saving the Hex Girls and stuff, someone like that isn't going to care that much about that. What they're going to care about is if the numbers for Scooby-Doo is in the green profit zone, he's going to go, oh, brilliant, let's make more of these because that's you know helping to pay for my super yacht. That's helping to pay for this ridiculous purchase that I don't need. Like That's what they're going to see, so he's going to want more of them. And so I kind of just wanted to reiterate that yeah. if you're watching this, and even if you've seen all the leaks and stuff, I would urge everyone to help support the movie and help it be successful. Because did, didn't you have a conversation with one of the p- people involved with the movie on Twitter? <laughs> you should try uh, and message him out and say, so uh, about, do you want to be on my interview? <laughs> huh. I got a receipt on my purchase. 
Oh, the one from the DMs. <laughs> Should just show them uh, I got oh, my gosh. receipt for my pre-order. So about this interview no, I mean, that you owe me. There's been... <laughs> I mean, and this is not necessarily about this person, <laughs> but there has been so much bootlicking, like with some of these people. It's it's crazy. I'm not going to say any much more than that, but it's just I couldn't imagine bootlicking a billion dollar corporation in the middle of a SAG after strike. I know, crazy, crazy. But I do feel sorry for the movie because, and I, I I commented this on Instagram. We've had three cancelled Scooby Doo projects, and someone decided to leak the only one that wasn't, jeopardizing yeah. the profitability of the last Scooby Doo movie that we had. That's mad. Whoever leaked the crypto movie actually needs fired. Like, no word of a lie. They actually need fired. They could have leaked the Hex Girls one that will get cancelled. Oh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not condoning leaking. But I mean, like Holiday Haunt is literally a hundred percent there. I know, I'd love it's, to it's, see Holiday Haunt. It's like, which just you know, be that guy and just oh, damn! I kind of leaked the wrong footage. Oopsie, there it is. As soon as someone's online, and it, it, it always takes us like five minutes. Someone's already downloaded that video, and then boom, it's there. Yeah, it's. I mean, I do like to support Warner Brothers where I can. Like, I think I was the only person in the world to get a Shazam 2 on DVD the day it came out. <laughs> um, Shazam Funko Pops. I saw Barbie opening night. I, was the, I, I, was I still have to cinema. see that. I was <laughs> the only guy there. But it was okay. I'm, I'm just another thing, right, I've got to pick a quiet day because I don't really want to be the only guy in it on his own. So no one else wants to go see it. Like... <laughs> I even even see a late night one if I had to. Yeah, I mean, I was a bit worried that I'd be singled out, but I think they were just a bit too distracted. So I I think I got away with it. I think I was able to hide hide in plain sight. But I think that about does it for today in terms of the Crypto 2 stuff, because, again, it's only a short topic, but there's not really that much to talk about apart from it's coming out, it was never (laughs) cancelled, And there's still some concern about whether or not Warner Brothers are going to think about phasing out physical media, at least in some territories. So I guess, Mark, is there anything that you want to kind of wrap this up with or any final thoughts about the crypto release at all? I'm I'm probably praying too much for it to have a Blu-ray release. Mm. (laughs) Then again, though, we're getting supposedly that collection of crypto, super pets, and Scoo. So if they're already thinking about multi packs, because yeah, I because I noticed there's some I really hate because we don't get unique packaging when it comes to releases. But when you look online, even if, if it's a France release and that, I've seen some Scooby Doo ones where it's like the Surfer one, but it has like a Scooby Doo paint set attached to it, or there's one that has a plushie. And like I want them. Because they stand out the most. It's like, why can't we get some of that with a Crypto 2 plushie with the DVD on the Warner Bros. shop website? Because I, I did, we did that with um, the 50th anniversary one. I got it from the website and I got a plushie with mine. Oh, yeah. I got it's in the box. Yeah. I figured, why can't you do it with Crypto 2? Because then you make more money. And what is it? Plushie? You could just pick oh, one out. I've already you. started going crazy. I'll just. Like, literally, the second we got the trailer, I've already been buying crypto merch. <laughs> like, look look at this and tell me I don't support Warner <laughs> Brothers. Like, look how easily I spend money on stuff. It's it's not even funny. I need help. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking that I think I'm literally in France for the Crypto 2 release day. So I might just go sh- trying to look, look for, I like, the shops. I literally everywhere and try and for Scooby-Doo them. stuff. It's like... That's sort of my obsession. I will just try and find anything to do with Scooby Doo on the website, eBay, other second sites. And it's just like, I always like the ones where they have unique stuff with them. It costs more money, but at the same time, it's, I have that piece. But it's like that, um, that, that, um, festive, like that unique, uh, what's your Scooby Doo box that I got that I can't find again, that weird Canada release one. 
Yeah, it was like that. The... Was, yeah, it's like a Christmas one where you can actually write your name onto it. Thank God it wasn't anyone's <laughs> name on there. But I'm just there, like, I'm just searching around and I still can't find another one to this day. I was like, I really want a second one because even though I brought it brand new, the packaging was already torn off a bit. So obviously I had to unbox it. But I want to find a second one and have it sealed. Have you tried using Google Lens? I like to use Google Lens for stuff that I can't find or I want to find multiple. Google ones. Lens? Well, yeah. is that that weird box thing in your like a little search tab? Yeah, so when like also oh like, I don't know um, if it works there. Yes, you know what? It is that, that one there. Yeah. You on that you click on the item and it like scans. There's like several modes. I'll just do my This is off topic, but hey, I mean it's a good tip for collectors. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's actually found my controller for my hey. um Obviously, it's out of focus, but look at that. See, we're helping collectors on with yeah. crypto too. It's all good stuff. So, I guess Didn't that does the Google lens up for crypto too. <laughs> Thank you so much for Google watching. Pages from like <laughs> 77 scrolling through, go through eBay pages manually. You learn something new every day. That's, <laughs> that's at least to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to this for the amazing tips. <laughs> If you do want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, Crypto2.